Hey everyone, I'm Dan. My girlfriend and I are building an expedition truck to travel Australia and potentially the world. So I've been trying to make a video a week and I've been quite slack with the filming this week, although we have been getting a lot done. Victoria has just gone into another COVID lockdown for six weeks, which is where we live. So we've got plenty of time to work on the truck, which is nice. So today I'm going to show you what we've been doing over the last week and we're going to have a look at the back deck. There's a little bit of tuning I need to do there, so thank you for watching and let's get into it. This is a frame for our rear mudguard. I really like this kind of geometric shape that it has. So this week I've been welding up a 1.6 millimeter steel shell for this. Ultimately, this, these are going to be clad in copper. There'll be uh, just as far as the eye can see, there'll be copper folded over the top and then rolled underneath and it'll give it a, and I'll put maybe copper rivets or brass bolts in there to give it a really chunky look and that'll really stand out. That copper will just highly contrast the cladding that's above it. It also protrudes out from the side of the truck just a little bit to give it, you know, a bit of contour and a bit of form. So I'll put the shell on now and show you how that looks. Okay, so as you can see, they're very heavy duty. I've, I've probably gone a little bit overboard, but it's better to be on the safe side, I guess. I, I really probably don't even need the frame. I could just have this 1.6 mil shell, but if anything hits this front, like when this is all welded together, if anything bashes into the side of this or we bash into the side of something, it's not gonna get damaged, it's not gonna get bent. So I prefer it like that. You know, the, the truck can carry six and a half thousand kilos. This probably weighs about 20 kilos, so I'm not worried. It's very heavy in, in terms of mudguard, but I'm not too concerned. So there'll be copper cladding over the top of this, just as far as the eye can see. It'll be rolled down the front, and then I'm gonna roll it around underneath. And as I said, put some chunky bolts or rivets in it. And I think that'll look really nice. I would like to put LEDs on the outside of this as well, but I think we're gonna be very close to our total width, so. That's what I've been working on this week. Now we'll have a look at the back deck. Welcome to the back deck. So this deck lowers down using these linear actuators and it gives us about an extra 3.5 meters squared of area. So there's a couple of things wrong with the back deck. There's a three-way lock that runs through the center of the deck and I've noticed that's not quite lining up the way it used to. I think it's become a little bit twisted from me walking on it and when I didn't have it properly supported. Whoops. The other thing is the mounting brackets at the top of the actuators have the potential to interfere with the actuator body. And I've just realized this, they're not interfering at the moment, but the potential's there, so I need to change it. I'm gonna start with that. So now I'll start the truck up and I'll lower the deck down and sh show you what I'm talking about. So this is the design fault that I was talking about. The actuator body could interfere with the bracket right here as it, cl as it closes. So what I'm gonna do is just scallop this out a little bit. It would probably be better to change the shape of the bracket, that would probably look better, but I'm kinda over going back and changing all these little things, which I do a lot of. So I'm just gonna scallop this out. I'll just mark it on all of them, and then I'll take them off and cut them, put them back on. I know I said I wasn't going to redesign these brackets, but I am a bit of a perfectionist and I really didn't like these brackets from the beginning. So I've cut them into new shapes. With this shape, the body won't interfere with the bracket at all. Now what I'm going to do is lift up the deck and I'll position the brackets and the actuator. And we want to have it so that the actuators aren't under any kind of load when we're traveling because if, there's, if they're under load and there's pressure on the lead screw and, and on the gearbox and it's bouncing around, it won't be any good for the actuator at all. So we'll get that into position and I'll tack it in.
This is the three-way lock that we use to secure our deck while we're traveling. It has an actuator that goes here, which activates it, opens it and closes it, and the rods just lock into a bracket at the end of the deck on either side. So that's just gonna make sure that while we're traveling, nothing can go wrong and the deck won't fall on the car behind us. As you can see, I haven't taken quite enough off these brackets. They're still going to interfere. This is just at the end of the stroke. So they're only just going to touch, but I'm just gonna take a little bit more out of that. I'm happy with the position of the bracket, so I'm not gonna cut them off. I'm just gonna freehand it. Just grind a little bit out of there and that should be fine. All right, I've cut the brackets out and I've fully welded them on. So they're done and they look a lot better than what they did before. I'm really happy with them. Now I'll start the truck up and I'll open it and close it a couple of times just to make sure it's working and we should be done.